guys, it's Sabrina. So I am so excited because tomorrow morning is my last final and then I am on summer break. So it's at 9 a.m. and um, it's called a cell biology and it's supposed to be really easy because it's actually just like a regular exam. It's not cumulative, so I'm really excited. And apparently I've been overstudying for it because I calculated my grade and found out that I only need like a 65 on the test to get an A in the class. So I think I'm going to stop studying now <laughs> and I'm just going to relax and um, enjoy my day. So I decided to film a video since I have more time on my hand today and hopefully have this video up today or tomorrow, we'll see. But again, summer starts tomorrow after 10, so I'm really excited. Um, I'm excited, but I know I'm going to be starting MCAT studying really soon too, so that's not really exciting. But you know, the part that it's summer is exciting. Um, so most of the summer I'm going to be spending probably at home with my family so I don't get distracted and because I don't think anybody's going to be here for most of the summer so I don't really want to be alone. Um, <laughs> and um, then I'm going to be going to Romania for like a couple days, literally a couple days to go see uh, my brother because he's getting married. Um, as I mentioned in like one of my previous videos, so that's really exciting. I'm so excited for him. And then um, coming back here because one of my friends, Mindy, is getting married on June 11th, so I'll be here to be a part of her wedding. And then probably spend some time here because my friend Erica is going to be here and she's teaching an MCAT class, so she might be able to like give me some tips and help me out as I'm studying. And then I have my test July 22nd, so I still have that planned out. I have not started studying at all <laughs> for the MCAT, but because I have two months, I think I'm going to be okay. So I'll start pretty soon after school ends, like in a couple of days. Um, so I'm not really excited for that. But my finals went really well. I had my hardest ones last week on Friday. I had like the back-to-back -back two hard ones. And then um, I didn't have another one till tomorrow, so it's been really nice and just relaxing since then. And... Um, they ended up going really well, one of them, because I don't know the other one. The, one of them ended up going really well, so I ended up with an A in the class, and I'm really happy about that. It was one of my most challenging classes, um, the mole molecular bio class I told you guys about, but I ended up, like, loving it at the same time. Like, definitely a really fun and interesting class, even though I studied, like, crazy for that class, um, unlike any other class I've ever studied for. But, um, that, there's that, and I also wanted to make a video about motivation, so I should probably get into that, because a lot of you guys said you were interested in me talking about motivation in my last video, so I kind of wanted to make a video about that, because I noticed, like, so much lack of motivation last week, and, um, lack of motivation can be due to so many things, mostly it's because of stress, like, you get so stressed out at one point that you think there's no reason in studying anymore or trying anymore because it, it's not going to make a difference, so you lose all motivation, and I noticed that happening, um, I was studying the day before for two of my finals because I had a final Thursday, so I had been studying for that, um, for most of the week, and I had, <laughs> I was literally going crazy, like, I was so stressed, um, I couldn't even sleep that night, I stayed up and studied as much as I could, and I was so tired the next day. And that doesn't help. When you're really tired the next day, you also have like no motivation to do anything and you're like groggy and you can't think straight like you're... Or that's at least what I tell people. And no matter how much coffee I drink, it doesn't help. So, um, sleep is so important. Like I definitely recommend trying to get sleep. Um, at least six to seven hours a night is good. For me, if I get anything under seven, I feel so tired the next day and I just have no motivation to do anything. So, um... It's really important to sleep. You will feel more motivated if you sleep, honestly. And even taking a couple naps if you can. I can't nap because I'm too stressed. Um, so I usually can't nap and I'll just sit around like, um, I'll try to nap, like I'll lay in bed and then I'll just think about how I could be studying and then I, there's no point so I get up. So I've tried napping and that just doesn't work for me. But for some people that works. Um, definitely try to work out during finals. I did not work out at all last week, which was a really bad idea, but I've been working out like these past couple of days and I just feel so much better. Refreshed, like I can take on the world. Um, take study breaks. Don't try to study like eight hours in a row. I've done that before and your head kills you by the end of the day and you're done. Like, um, it's just, you're just like over everything else if you study too much. So try to take study breaks. Um, do study groups if that helps you. If not, um, it depends for me. Sometimes they can be so distracting. Sometimes they actually help me out. Um, during finals, I like to be surrounded by people because I feel like if I'm alone, um, it's just I'm suffering alone. It's just not a good feeling, and I just want other people to be around me. So most of the time, I'll spend it at the library where I know other people are suffering around me, and it just feels better. But if I know I cannot be distracted and I have to be focus, like straight focus, I will stay home and study because that is the only place, 100%, the only place that I can stay 100, like focused. So I know that about myself. So make sure you know, like you have a balance between that so that you don't go crazy on your own. Um, 
try to just, you know, take like, again, study breaks, maybe go get some lunch with a friend, um, go grab some coffee with a friend, because you know how much coffee you need during finals, and just like relax, so, so that, I don't know, and just try to relax for a little bit, like listen to some music, take a walk or something, it's really important to do that. Um, try to eat healthy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving you advice. I don't do any of these things. But anyway, <laughs> try to eat healthy because, um, you know, that Panda Express at school and those sandwiches at school aren't the best. Um, you know, you could do better probably. But desperate times call for desperate measures. So if you have to eat at school, definitely just go for the sandwiches. I think those are the best options or anything else healthy that they have. But, you know, um, Eating healthy also makes a difference. I love eating fruit. I love apples. Apples are supposed to wake you up. I don't know if they really do, but they like make me so happy. So I eat them all the time with peanut butter and then I feel like more energized. So just bring your favorite snacks with you. Make sure you do have snacks um, with you at all times. Water, coffee, lots of coffee. <laughs> um, overdosing on coffee might be necessary. These are just tips on how to survive finals. But when it comes to cumulative finals, just try to study like the past material the most if you if it's tested like over everything and um, make sure you understand it because you probably have forgotten it over the entire year and then try to understand new material if they threw in new material right before your test which I hate when teachers do that like we already have enough sir please do not add more but they love to do that so make sure you really um, focus on that do like practice problems if that helps um, rewrite your notes if that helps I love to do that Especially, I like to write down like notes off of PowerPoints because I feel like I understand it better if it's in my own handwriting than if it's on a PowerPoint, so I like to do that. Um, what else do I do during finals? It's a lot of memorization, so just it's really important that you feel like awake enough and your brain is like functioning when it comes to studying for finals because you need to like be able to retain information. I don't think it's the end of the world like I do, which like, oh my god, I'm going to fail. It's the end of the world. I'm going to die. It's over. There goes my GPA. You know, just, just think, just believe in yourself more than that. Like know that you can do it. You're going to make it through it. You've made it through so many exams and finals so far, starting from high school until college. You've done it. So you can do it, and I just doubt myself so much during finals. It's like the most stressful time ever for me. That's why I hate them so much. But I always, in the end, survive. Like, I've never, like, destroyed, like, myself. Like, I'm mentally, like, physically and emotionally, I'm, like, dead. But, like, I don't kill my GPA most of the time. Like, it's still okay. Um, so, gotta stop. Just don't be so dramatic, I guess, you know? Just don't think it's the end of the world. You're gonna pull through and it's gonna be okay. Alex is studying for her OCHEM final right now and she's literally panicking and doing exactly what I was doing last week and I completely understand. <sighs> and it's really hard, but um, I know she's gonna be okay and she's gonna pull through. So, that's just my advice um, for those of you taking finals. If it is in college, if it is in high school, either way, it is a very stressful time, so just try to keep calm and it's gonna be okay. I hope my advice helped you out. Um, and um, for those of you taking AP exams in college or high school, good luck. Those were really fun. Those were also very stressful. But um, you've been preparing for them for literally all year, so you're gonna be fine, don't worry. I thought I would fail, but I did okay at the end on most of them. And um, yeah, so I start summer. I'm so excited to just relax for a couple days and then start studying for the MCAT. And once I take my MCAT, I'm actually going to England for two weeks with my family. I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. Um, I can't wait. So we're going to be leaving around the end of July, beginning of August. And that's where I'll be for two weeks before school starts again. And when school starts, I'm a senior. So that's insane. I can't believe how fast college went by. It's like insane, literally. So um, yeah, that's just a quick life update, quick update on how to survive finals. And I hope you guys found this video helpful, enjoyable. I hope it didn't stress you out more. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Bye, guys.